Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about how to access your billing information in the Account Management Panel. We're going to show you how to access and edit your billing information, and we'll also show you how to view your existing subscriptions and your billing history. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is how to get into your billing account. You'll need to type in your login username and the password. And then when you've logged in to the account management panel, there's a section here at the top which is called billing. Under billing you can see my subscriptions, manage payment method, and view payment history. If you click on the very top option which just says billing, you'll be sent into my subscriptions by default. On the right hand side you'll see a billing snapshot. Under the snapshot you'll see the current card status, whether it's expired or when it expires, and the last four digits of the credit card. You'll also see upcoming payments, which includes your next payment, the due date, the product, the term, and then the credit card that's currently being assigned to that payment. The information under my subscriptions may vary depending upon your account. Here you'll see view payment history, and you can see pending requests. For example, if you have domains that need to be transferred or you've purchased an SSL certificate, you may see that they are pending still within your payment history. Existing subscriptions, such as your hosting, will be shown under product. Here's an example of an existing subscription. So you can see the actual type of product, which in this case is a web hosting, the term the price, when it renews, the payment method, an option to renew it now, and then information on how to contact the billing department. Under subscriptions, there's also options for other products that you may purchase. Some of these you can cancel. For example, the Softaculous application installer. It gives you the term, the price, its renewal date, and then immediately after that, you'll see the option to cancel the Softaculous application installer if you no longer want it on your account. For each subscription option, you'll also see a print invoice option. This allows you to print the invoice for your product. So here I've clicked on print invoice and you can see what the print invoice will look like on the screen. After your subscription list, you may see an option called Completed Requests. This may include services that have been completed and are listed here for the history of your account. And finally, after all the other options that you have within your billing subscriptions list, you may see Inactive Subscriptions. This may include subscriptions that you no longer need or have canceled or ones that have been suspended. Suspended subscriptions may be renewed by clicking on the arrow under the Renew Now column. Next, we're going to look at Manage Payment Method. So under the Billing menu at the top, we're going to scroll down to Manage Payment Method and click on that. Under Manage Payment Method, you'll see the credit card or credit cards that have been listed for use for the payment of your account. Here we can see the name of the card, the number of the card, and the expiration of the card. Notice that not all of the card numbers are showing at this point for security purposes. To see more information about the card, you can click on View More or Edit, and then you can see the address associated with that card. You can edit the information for your credit card, or you can replace that existing card with a new card by clicking on Replace with New Card. You can also add another card to the account by clicking on Add New Credit Card. If your billing information changes, such as your address or the name, you can also click on Update Billing and Contact Information here on the right. The next and last section we're going to view in the Billing menu is the View Payment History. Click on Billing, then scroll down to View Payment History. In the under View Payment History, you'll see the record of all the payments with your account. Notice that each option has a receipt number. 
If you click on the receipt number, which is a hot link, you'll see the payment history receipt. This gives you the details of the charge involved. I hope you enjoyed this InMotion hosting video tutorial. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. We'd also like to see any comments on what kind of videos you'd like to see us do in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.